Hey guys, what's up? Caleb Dining with SDI, and today I want to test a theory about loading and unloading your, uh, specifically like your carry firearm, with the same projectile over and over. And does that have an adverse effect on what? Does it even have an adverse effect? Does it make any difference at all? at all. So I've been sitting here doing this. I think I've done it like 15 times or so, maybe more than that, I'm not sure. Um, and done some retakes of this too. So that added some more, you know, reps of this in there. Basically all I'm doing is taking the same, the same cartridge, right? Nine millimeter, loading it up in the magazine and loading it into the firearm. This simulates whenever you, if you carry a firearm, which I highly encourage you to, if you're allowed to, legally able to, um, this simulates the people that, when they put their firearm on, load the magazine, load the gun, carry the gun, they come home, or wherever they're going, they unload the firearm to put the firearm away. Now, some people leave the guns loaded all the time, which is perfectly fine, depending on your situation. I can't do that, I got a bunch of kids in the house, so that's just not gonna work, so I have to unload my firearms. So what happens if you keep doing this over and over and over? Are you going to have an adverse effect on the cartridge? If you keep using that same cartridge. Um, there was an individual back in the day um, who argued that you should never reload that cartridge back into your firearm. It's however many cents, eject it, get rid of it, throw that in a box of training ammo and never touch it again unless you're, you know, training, but never carry that round again. I'm going to test that theory a little bit. Um, the main concerns that I would have personally with this is if you keep doing that enough and you squish down the projectile into the case, you could create a compressed load, which would change the pressures um, that the cartridge is supposed to have, exacerbate it, and potentially have a dangerous situation. Potentially. Right? The thing we're gonna really be looking at and testing today is do you have an effect, if an effective, noticeable change in accuracy? So I'm gonna take other ammo that I have, same ammo, but in a, uh, fresh ammo that I have not done this to. I'm gonna fire five rounds as cleanly and nicely as I can at 25 yards. And then I'm gonna load up this guy, right? That I've set here and loaded up probably 20 times by now. Um, and see if this one round has any deflection weirdness or does he stay clustered with the group that hopefully I'll be able to shoot a decent group. So I'm going to change things around here. I'm going to point you over at the target so you can see the impacts and let's see if we have any noticeable anything. Let's do it. All right, not the best shooting today, but we do have a five round group. This again was shot at 25 yards off of a rest, not vice down, but off of a rest with the exact same ammo that we're going to shoot here in a second. And these are fresh loaded new rounds. So this is the group that we got. Here's the cartridge we reloaded about 20 times. All right, so this actually surprised me. I did not know this, I did not expect this. Some of these shots, I know I was a little, whatever, it's particularly this, this shot here. Get my dead finger out of the way. This shot here, I know I kind of pulled that a little bit, a little bit. I was very careful on that last round to get a very clean, crisp, very clean trigger pull. And I, I accomplished that. The, the shot broke exactly when the red dot was right in the circle where he's supposed to be. Nice and clean, no jerking, no craziness. And that round landed down here. If you can see, obviously, there's a, there's a group going on right here. And then I have the one flyer down there. So. I did. I thought that this was going to be debunked relatively easy, relatively simple, and now I know that I can't do that anymore. Uh, as far as like going home, unloading, taking that same round, and just loading it back on top of the magazine, that could potentially cause a really bad situation. This is only a 25 yards for a carry gun. This is about all you're going to do anyway. So in a realistic situation, that's probably not going to be that big of a deal. But if I'm aiming here, and I have a zero down here. Right, my zero is a little bit off. I need to I need to change that up a little bit. But that one first round impact, the most important round that you carry in that gun, is going to be off because you've loaded it and unloaded it because you're trying to save money, save a couple cents. Is it worth it? That's up to you to decide. 
but here's just a little bit more information and data to add to that decision-making process. I know has changed my mind. I'm gonna stop doing that and put those, those, those loaded rounds that I've loaded into the chamber, pull those things out and use those as something else. Anyway, I hope you found it interesting. I, I know I did, I was surprised by this. I hope you found it helpful. Caleb Downing with SDI and hopefully we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.